We've we've played some really strong cricket in in one day format for a while now, um, and India are right up there with one of the best sides in the world. Um, they'll bring different challenges to what we've recently faced, um, but we we know that if we play to our potential and we continue to keep learning and improving, then um, we'll be a very difficult side to play, especially at home in these conditions. Yeah, I fully understood the decision. Um, can't couldn't have been an easy one for for the guys to make, but. That's part and parcel of having a really strong squad. Um, you have to take that. It's, it's always difficult being left out. You never like that as a player, but um, I haven't been captain myself. I know how hard it can be, and um, you know it's it is sort of a one thing is for sure. It's great to see Stokesy back playing and and see him you know, back to somewhere near fully fit. Um, he's such a big asset to to all three teams and. Now, with him firing it, hopefully throughout this series we'll see some really strong performances from him. And you know, long term for England, that's a really important thing. I don't have any fears about it. Um, you know, I want to see us be as complete a side as possible in all three competitions, but I want to be a part of them. Um, so it's, it's difficult um, with the limited amount of opportunities I've had to play 2020 cricket. Um, but it's also, I think, the thing that's always been at the forefront of my mind is playing for England comes first uh, you know, all the domestic tournaments around the world and stuff they have to fit around playing for England and you know, whether that's making sure that I have enough rest um, um, or obviously if there are international games throughout those those tournaments then I'm going to have to miss out and until there's a, you know, a really good block for me to go and play 2020 cricket somewhere um, in a domestic tournament it's going to be hard to get a string of games together and um, to really put that that case across but now I'm, I'm fully confident of you know, the ability I have in that format um, I've, I've proven over the past that I, I can I can perform in in 2020 cricket and um, you know it's, I don't see it as a, a closed door for me at all um, I just got to make sure I keep putting the work in and those limited opportunities I get, keep trying to perform and um, I suppose keep my name as current as I can in, in that form. Yeah, as I said, there's you know, India have been a, a really strong team in this format for a long time. Um, you know, they, they won last time they came over here. I know it was a very different side they played against. Um, but you know ultimately it, it's a good I suppose it is a good market to see where we're at. Um, and you know, it's it's a great opportunity for us to um, play against a strong Indian team that will pose different challenges to what Australia did at the start of the summer. Um, now, very, very different look to you know, their bowling attack, for example, and it's, it's an exciting time, you know, start this summer, start this, sorry, this series, sorry. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can play some really strong cricket and I'm sure it'll make for a really good view. I've been trying to add a few things to my, um, to my bowling, especially in the short formats. But you know, it's, ultimately, I can offer so much with the ball. Um, but I'm never going to be a Shane Warne or a, even a, you know, looking at the, the setup that we've had in recent times. We've, we've generally played with two spinners anyway. So um, hopefully, I, I can continue to keep offering when when I get the opportunity. Um, but I have to score runs really, um, and you know, I'm confident I'll be able to do so.